And for more on this, we are now being joined by Ms. Neeti Sharma, CEO of Team Lease Digital. She's joining us live from Bengaluru. Welcome to the show, Ms. Sharma. Thanks, Anisha. Thank you so much. I will first start by taking your assessment on how can AI reshape India's social welfare programs. I think AI has the potential to significantly improve efficiency, effectiveness and impact of India's social welfare programs, leading to eventually better outcomes for vulnerable populations and much more inclusive development. You know, and for that to happen, there are various things that, you know, as, as a country, we actually need to focus on. I mean, think about it. If you are able to assist the vulnerable population, the, the people for whom these schemes are created, in a much targeted manner. So it's not like, you know, one size fits everyone. My need would be very different from somebody else's need. And if AI can help identify the specific requirement for each individual or a community or a family, I think we'll be able to do a better job in providing welfare assistance to that population. Right. Uh, also talking about uh, your guidance, accessing benefits, healthcare options, educational opportunities. There's just so much that at a country level we can do. And, you know, we continue to have a lot of welfare schemes for, you know, for that population. But if we can do it in a much better targeted, personalized manner, in my view, I think we'll be able to make it more efficient and productive for all of us. Right, Ms. Sharma, you've uh, concisely lamented how AI can indeed reshape India's social welfare programs. But talk to us about how can India train its workforce for an AI future? I think the first step would be to integrate AI, you know, across all streams of education, right from schools, colleges, across the vocational skills. Uh, schemes that government of India runs. Uh, also, the fact that you know we have to continuously pay focus and emphasis on uh, continuous learning and upskilling of existing workforce. I mean, today we have millions of and millions of people who are actually working in the industry. But you know, how do we ensure that they are upskilled as well? Uh, also, the fact that you know can we con can we create a pipeline of the skilled workforce? Uh, people who are actually entering the labor market for the first time, people who are already working, how do I upskill them? Uh, and eventually, you know, I mean, we have the new education policy, which is which is getting executed. You know, can we in some way integrate this AI, you know, or artificial intelligence, machine learning, data security kind of programs as part of our regular learning and curriculum? Right, Ms. Sharma, thanks very much for taking our time and joining us here on the show. Thank you so much, Rachel.